Welcome to the Stone Booger's Hour with Pastor Gary and Elder JC. Hello, Tallahassee. Praise God, JC. I just want to say God bless all of you for tuning in to the Stone Builders Hour today. The Stone Builders, we were a unique family talk show uh, sharing the good news with you. And you know what? Over these last two weeks, we shared the seven holy days. That's Passover, Pentecost, Unleavened Bread, First Fruits, Trumpet, Tabernacle, Purim, and even though they got that eighth one, which is the Day of Atonement, we're praying, reviewing the holy days, set the tone for the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes, but remember, Passover is not one of the seven. Passover was a feast that God designated because he wanted what? The Israelites to be able to be passed over from all of the um harm that he was causing to the Egyptians. I just want to make sure our listeners <laughs> were paying attention okay. and they, they, they caught that. And today we're going to study Christ's ultimate sacrifice, resurrection, foretold by the prophets in the Old Testament and confirmed in the New. In the Old Testament, Job 19, 25 through 27, for I know that my Redeemer lived. Mm. And he wasn't even here yet. (laughs) And that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, Hmm. and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Hmm. That's faith. Yes. That's real faith. Because he wasn't even... Especially after he was going through some stuff. Yes. And in the New Testament, there's a lot of verses. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all gave uh, occurrences of the resurrection. But John eleven twenty five through 26 says, Jesus said unto her, and he was talking to Martha, mm-hmm. I am the resurrection. Who that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live and so and so okay, get that and so okay, ever get that coffee. live and believe in me. Believeth thou this? He actually was asking her a question. Yeah. But I just love it how he actually makes a statement then follows with a question. Believeth thou this? But of course Martha said, Yes, Lord. I believe believe. Mm. the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the foundation of Christian faith. Without the resurrection, the belief in God's saving grace through Jesus is destroyed. When Jesus rose from the dead, he confirmed his identity as the son of God and his work of atonement redemption, reconciliation, and salvation. The resurrection was a real, literal, physical raising of Jesus' body from the dead only if, believe thou this, Mm. praise God. (laughs) Oh no, uh, Tallahassee audience, if God was asking you that, what would your answer be? Mm. Believe thou this? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe. (laughs) I believe. Now, you can listen to all our past shows and even pick up this one on iTunes, Google Music, TuneIn, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, Spotify, and soon and very soon, Facebook and YouTube. Soon and very soon. But we're going to go ahead and and take a short break because we want to recognize our sponsors. And we'll be right back. My name is Anne Marie Baker, and I used to have severe, excruciating right arm and neck pain. Thanks to spinal decompression therapy from Dynamic Spine and Wellness Center, 
I no longer have any pain or discomfort, and my issues were resolved without having any surgery. Dynamic Spine and Wellness Center has helped me enjoy my life again. At Dynamic Spine and Wellness Center, we unlock your potential to be the best version of you and build your body to excellent health. Hi, my name is Dr. Powell, and we take pride in giving you fast and friendly service that is tailored to your needs. We provide safe, comfortable, and effective treatments using state-of-the-art equipment. Life is full of adjustments, so get yourself realigned for better, healthier future today. Call 402-9061. That's 402-9061. Dynamic Spine and Wellness Center. Online at dynamicspineandwellness.com. Guess who? It's me, Elder JC, asking your support for Livingstone's Parenting Engagement Services. What is it? It will help parents be more active in their children's lives. Other ways to support? Donate online at WeLivingStones.org or call us at 850-219-0091. Remember, your donation is tax deductible. Man, what did you get on that math test? Dude, I failed it. I got an F. Bro, it was kind of hard, but I got to be on it. I thought I knew the answers, but I missed some days from school. Why are you sick? Nah, I just didn't feel like coming. Look, man, every day you miss school, you fall further behind in your classes. You miss information that help you pass quizzes and tests. It's important that you come to school. Don't become a statistic. When you skip school, you miss out on your potential. For more information, contact the Leon County Schools Office of Prevention, Intervention, Equity, and Services at 487-7306. Thank you for staying tuned and let's go right in with today's study. The resurrection of Jesus Christ, who we're going to refer to as Yeshua, Emmanuel, the Son of God. He had a whole bunch of names. He is the, he is the focal point of Christianity, uh, defining doctrine of faith and the most bold claim in the history of the world. If you got to believe this now, I mean, a man of God sent from heaven, then crucified in the most public way, buried in the rich man's tomb, uh, some, a, a guy named Joseph of Marathia, then was sealed and guarded by Roman soldiers, and then dead man who called himself Almighty God rises up and lives. That's why I asked Jesus when Jesus asked that question. Believe thou this? I mean, that is off the... How you, <laughs> I mean, wow. Well, you figure this this whole week has been the really the combination of Holy Week and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is probably, or Yeshua, is the most important yes. event of our faith. The very foundation of all doctrine hinges on the truth mm. of this account. Yes. So Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth is alive to this day. Yes, he is. He lives in a glorified body. Because he lives, all who die believing in him will also rise with a new body forever and ever. That just gives yes. me goosebumps. Isn't there a because song that says, Because, because he lives. <laughs> but, uh oh, where's my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bring up anybody's eardrums so early. But that song, the same song came to mind. Pastor and I as believers have no doubt the Nazarene named Yeshua, who had a public death, then burial, then resurrected <laughs> yes. because scripture reveals many people saw him. Mm. And remember, I said there was a lot of other verses that confirm this, but in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to, through 8, Paul gives a list of people to whom Jesus appeared. These witnesses included Peter, James, the brother of Jesus, and more than 500, 500. people wow. at the same, same time. Talk about uh, multiple places. And talk, no, talk about that. Those, those like, are miracles. <laughs> those are miracles. Mm. As folks gave testimony, uh, gave testimony that they saw or talked to him, 
Yeshua's message grew by leaps and bounds. Yes. Because remember, when he was buried mm -hmm. and when Martha went through the tomb and his body wasn't there, what was the first thing the Pharisees and Sadducees says? They said, oh, someone took his body. Yes. But how could they do that? Because the stone had was a huge stone rolled over. Mm -hmm. Was it guards like, there. Yes. Yeah, so that means the guards had to be lying or something. His teachings and the many miracles performed traveled like lightning, even though there was no <laughs> Facebook, no Twitter, social. Instagram, Snapchat. No social media. Right. And you don't have to worry about no social distancing right. distance <laughs> now, especially with the virus going around. You're right about that. So John 14, 6, Jesus says unto him, I am the way. I love Ooh, this verse. He's God. The truth and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Ooh. So, ladies and gentlemen, my, my, my. Uh, mm. if you believe thou this, yes. then you know that Christ is risen. Yes, and you is. know that he is waiting for us to be risen with him. But we need to mm. get it together. And it's so funny with this whole COVID-19, uh, the Wahoo virus, the Chinese mm. virus, Where whatever you want to call it. it the one thing it has done that I believe is gotten people back into their homes, back into communication with their families. Um, you know, it's unfortunate that one of the things that it's going to be a, a drawback on it are the businesses that are being hurt yes. right now and the nonprofits because them. we ourselves are, are uh, having to cut back on some of the things that we're doing. So, but I know that this is only for a moment yes. because even Christ says, in the blinking of an eye, mm. we will also be resurrected. So I'll wait for that time too. Praise God. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, 14 and 15 states, for the love of Christ constraineth mm. us because we thus judge that if one died for all, mm then we're all dead mm. and that he died for all that they which live shall not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them and rose again mm. during and after the crucifixion many were amazed afraid apprehensive mm -hmm, I'm stressed sure. out I'm sure depressed we talked about depression yes previous, we did yes we did uh, and we also joy encouragement all kind of it was an emotional off the chart moment then behold in Matthews 27 51 through 53 states behold the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth quaked mm. and the rocks were split and the graves were, were open. open. Mm, people came alive. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen mm. asleep were raised mm. coming out of the graves wow. after his resurrection. They, after the rest, then they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Wow. Whoa, that means that talking about Frankenstein, <laughs> they were wrapped in bed. The Lazarus right. moment. Everybody yes. told we talk about Lazarus, yes. but we don't talk about those saints Who that were raised up after he died. Yeah. And they went to the city to test it for testimony. But Matthew is the only disciple who recorded in scriptures the graves opening and the dead returning mm -hmm. to the city. Oh, what a sight to behold. People I'm running. Really, I mean, really, I <laughs> Lord, I mean you going to run away oh. or you going to run towards it. And But these events that happened, I mean, it was a topsy-turvy kind of moment. They put huge pressure and strains on the Roman government and also on the Jewish authorities. I was like, well, oh, man, I'm still stuck on people coming out of those graves opening because of the earthquake and people came out of the graves and started walking around. Wow. Totally. Wow. Yes, uh, I'm sure the Roman government and high priests that placed uh, the disciples, uh, apostles under arrest and their cells became chapels. And remember Matthew 28, um, 
uh, 13 says, uh, when the elders, or starting at 12, when they had assembled with the elders and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, saying, tell them his disciples came at night mm. and stole him away while we slept. And if this comes to the governor's ear, we will appease him and make you secure. Uh, what's that? Uh, double dealing uh, mm -hmm. politicians. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. But mm. it is a lie. Uh, fake news. <laughs> uh, the apostles were bound <laughs> with fake chains news. and shackles and their prisons became parishes. It was just praising God where right. they were. Because of what they had witnessed. Yes. I mean, here's a man that they were following for those last three years of his life yes saw the miracles he did and he did uh, let, let's face it if someone came in our midst mm -hmm. and talked like Ye yeshua talked mm -hmm. the christ never heard anything so, like this you never heard that you would not be uh, a witness to not only what he said but as the, as it spawn spawn on and on and on and you see the truth what are you to believe? The most highly trained and loyal palace guards were set to the prison to shut down the praise and worship. <laughs> but they soon would be overpowered by the Holy Ghost Spirit, and they themselves became Christians. Wow. The resurrection changed everything. Nothing would be the same again. But one thing we know, that deceiver is out there. Yes. And he is a deceiver. He wants himself to be praised as the Christ, as the anointed mm -hmm. one. And he yeah. always tends to set up false churches in order mm -hmm. to appease people. So sometimes we have to keep our guard on because mm -hmm. just even talking about the resurrection and what happened... I mean, that's really a flood of the Holy Spirit. And right yes. now it is raining cats and dogs that's outside. Sad. So, Lord, mm -hmm. believe thou this. Wash it. Yes. 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 Believe thou this. Wash away the old so the new can come. Amen. In. So we just thank you. But until that resurrection, religion was based on rituals, yep. uh, folk tales, mythological heroes and heroines, Zeus and mm. uh, uh, who is Venus? Yes, uh, all Hor the Aphrodite. Well, Aphrodite, yeah. Horus, all the, and then they had local and national deities. Um, everyone had little statues of mm. their favorite folks mm. and everything. And, and, uh, and they were designed to explain the mysteries of life and death with sticks and stones. Mm -hmm. So, it, so this was something that was in the physical that uh, that uh, religion was based on. Yeah, uh, magic. Um, uh, that what well, well, Christ called it, and even the apostles called it divination. Yes, people wanted what the disciples had. They wanted that power because they knew they could heal people. Uh, they, you know, made the lame walk, the blind see. So they wanted that spirit, but that wasn't really Christ's spirit. They wanted the power to be able to, and they wanted it for filthy lucre yes. or money. <laughs> but Jesus, mm. Yeshua, was history. Yes. You could speak of a time, place, his birth, his life, Miracles, death, changed lives, and new life. In Jesus Christ and his resurrection, God entered time. Mankind was no longer alone to create stories to make sense of the inexplicable, but God's story <laughs> had intersected with their stories, yes. which is our stories, to bring grace and truth. Plus, he was written in the scriptures yes. from previous times. From the old and the whole yes. issue was that they said Jesus was always blasphemy because he was healing on the Sabbath. He was, he was, uh, his words. Uh, everyone said there must be the prophet Joel. Everyone knew about him being for 
told. And now here he is in their present. And it was hard for anyone to digest. So everything had changed and nothing could ever be the same after the resurrection. You want to know the gospel in its simplest affirmation? Here it is, the God in the simplest affirmation. Christ has died. Yes. Christ has risen. Yes. And Christ, he gonna come again. Yes, he will. And the way things are going right now, soon and very soon. <laughs> even though none of us know the time in a moment. Yes. But they said that we got well, disease. Yeah. We have Matthew's uh, 24. Earthquakes. Yes. We have locusts that was just wiped out part of uh, Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. We have everything that they called upon. Uh, so it's time for you to get right. Mm -hmm. It's time to confess your sin, be baptized in water, and sin no more. Mm -hmm. And believe on Christ. Praise God. Wow. He on his way back. I was in Revelation, and he coming back with a, a vengeance. With a, oh <laughs> man, he ain't gonna be no Millie Miles. He gonna he said, when you read Revelation, he coming back to slice and dice some folks up. Mm. Forgive me, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so after the resurrected Christ or Yeshua mm. ascended into heaven yeah. with witnesses observing. The light of God's truth that Isaiah had prophesied was going to the ends of the earth. And remember, Isaiah, mm. old, old Oh, he Testament, was way back there. Yeah. The light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, <clears throat> his crucifixion and resurrection, not only illuminated the plight of human beings, but magnified the power of God. Wow. That's what I see. Yes. Is his power. Mm. Hope replaced resignation. Life could be lived with the assurance of sins forgiven. My oh, sins. Oh, your yeah. sins. Me, all of our sins. Yes. And a new way of living established with the certainty that whoever believes in me, though he died, Yet he shall live, and whoever never. believes in me shall never die. Wow. And that is John eleven twenty five through 26. So just know that this is one of the greatest moments that we as believers could mm, see. Mm, mm. And in Psalm 23, 4, it says, Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah, yes. void by the hope of the resurrection of the dead, mm. could go through that terrible death knowing that God would be with him. Thank you, Lord. He knew that God would forsake him, but he also knew that he would ultimately raise him from the dead. And you guys know Psalms 23. Yea, though I walk, walk through the, the valley, valley of, of the, the shadow, shadow of death, death, I will fear, fear no evil, evil, for you are with me. Mm. Your rod and your staff. They comfort me. They comfort me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, this, okay, we we have to take a break. <laughs> we have to take a break. But hey, stay tuned because the Holy Spirit is uh, yeah, I'm I'm up in here. <laughs> thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy, and for laying down your life so that I can live. Yes, I can teach my children's children to live. Yes, our children are so important. We. We got to be late. Oh, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, put those hands together. You know he lives. I serve a risen Savior. He's in this world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand in mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. You lost me how I know he lives. If someone loves you, they don't hit you. Hi, this is Dewey Rio with Noble, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. Dating or relational violence is an act or threat of violence by one member of a couple against the other person in a relationship. It's also when one partner tries to maintain power and control over the other through abuse or violence. The abuse can include isolating you from others, threatening you, your family, or even themselves if you don't do what they want, 
physical violence, or sexual acts. This is not about love. It's about control. It's not about anything you did wrong. It's about control. If you're in a relationship like this, you're not alone. There is help. Contact Refuge House, your school guidance counselor, or law enforcement. Just remember, there is help. This message is presented by this radio station and the North Florida chapter of Noble. For more information, visit noblenorthflorida.com, and together we can promote justice by action. Guess who? It's me, Elder JC, asking your support for Livingstone's Parenting Engagement Services. What is it? It will help parents be more active in their children's lives. Other ways to support? Donate online at welivingstones.org or call us at 850-219-0091. Remember, your donation is tax deductible. Man, do I love card night. You ready, boys? You got a king? Go, fish that! Oh, come on! (laughs) This is WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Learn more at 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. We're back. Praise God. Before we go on, please consider becoming a Stone Builder partner. During this mandatory shutdown, uh, I know it's going through a hard time with people uh, losing their jobs, businesses are closed. But, you know, that's one reason that you can use the Stone Builders. We can help your business and agency by assuring your customers or clients that uh, you're in the process of opening, you're waiting to opening, or or just that I'm open, Mm -hmm. that we're still here, or an opening date. And uh, to let your customers know that soon and very soon, we have very competitive uh, advertising rates uh, that will fit your budget. And not only will your ad or message be heard on Wave 94, but on iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, and those go out into not only our local community, uh, but uh, into the into world. The, the wide world. Web. Praise <laughs> God. And you can visit our website at welivingstones.org. Uh, where you can contact me, just uh, my contact, our contact information is there. Also, you can make a donation not only on uh, We Living Stones, but you can pay for your ad or make a donation uh, via Cash App, uh, which is dollar sign L Stones 51. And, uh, and you will be a prayer warrior standing in the gap and know that God will bless you because he loves a cheerful giver. Just remember the woman with the last might on how she gave her last might and how that was the beginning of a new thing or the woman with her child who had the oil. Uh, and then uh, the, the prophet came and her oil was never ending. Sometimes we have to trust in the Lord. Mm-hmm. So now let's get back to the uh, the resurrection and the rest of the story. Well, the eyewitness accounts in the gospel do provide Christians with undeniable evidence that the resurrection of Yeshua did indeed happen. Two millennia after mm. his death, followers of Christ still flock to Jerusalem to see the empty tomb. Wow. Almost 2,000 years ago. Mm. So this fact is still being attested in human history and part of our experience. Just the fact that we're uh, providing this uh, information through our radio program and the influence of what the Holy Spirit can do, even in our studio, to show yes. you that God is real and He Praise is God. still alive. He is real. The resurre- mm. resurrection of Jesus Christ was predicted in the Old Testament and by Christ Himself. <laughs> so, Ooh. during the 40 days following His resurrection, Jesus showed himself to be alive from the dead by many infallible truths. Praise God. As mentioned earlier, 
the Nazarene appeared at various times and places to many people who told others what they had seen. Yes. Christ's resurrection has been at the heart of the church's message from the day of Pentecost to the present. And remember when Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and she eventually um, did see Christ, but didn't recognize him because mm-hmm. he had changed. He yeah, had more, body. more or five body. <laughs> and she was about to touch him. He says, do not <laughs> cling to me. For I have not yet ascended to my father, (laughs) but go Mm. to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and you and your father and to my God and your God. So she went and told and everybody came back. Mm. And as they were sitting in the room, when she went to tell them, what did Christ do? He appeared right before their very eyes. Isn't that something, though, when normally... When Jesus is healing, uh, he tells a lot of folks, don't tell nobody. Right. (laughs) Don't tell nobody. Or go and show yourself to a specific person or go to the temple or go to the priest. But Mary Magdalene, he said, go tell everybody. Yes, he did. Go tell them what you just saw and witness. And at that time. They thought thought she was crazy. Yeah, they did until he appeared before them and they saw the the nails from his hand and the, you know, the cut in his side. But one of the things that he left them, he said to them that they would receive the Holy Spirit. So again, this Mm. has been the heart of our message. This has been one of the things that we know Christ has done, that he is still alive. Mm. And with us today, today. yeah, through His Holy Spirit. Well, these last two weeks, uh, we talked about the Holy Days and Pentecost, and we were highlighting each and every one of them. By raising from the dead, Jesus demonstrated that He had cleansed the guilt of our past and is able to help us in our present lives. Mm-hmm. His resurrection assures us that our future is safe and secure. Without Jesus' resurrection, we would have no salvation from sin and no hope for our future resurrection. That empty tomb Mm. is proof of his deity. It guarantees the future resurrection of his believers. Believe thou this? The resurrection of Jesus Christ provides believers with spiritual power today. The bodily resurrection of Jesus is evidence that the Almighty will one day judge the world in righteousness. That's why we know we fell in. I mean, we're, we've, you know, they, sometimes we do watch movies, <laughs> but when we see some of the movies with, uh, child abductions, um, murder for hire, um, women being abused and sold, uh, yes. uh, strip clubs and drugs and and just the, uh, the wickedness of man is so wicked knowing that God is going to judge in his righteousness uh, soon and very soon. And that's when Jesus starts coming back. He coming back on fire. Praise God. Luke 24, 13 through 27. It's it's quite lengthy, but it goes into detail and ends with, did not the Christ have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? His glory. One of the things they were all discussing, they were having this, you know how we do, we have our our discussions and we know everything, we're wondering what's going on, and um, all they knew is that they were talking about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet and had gone through all this death, and, you know, the people were saying that he resurrected, and as they were leaving, um, you know, disciples weren't sure what to do, or these were another group of disciples. So mm-hmm. they said, well, just um, stay with us because it was getting late for the hour. So Jesus went with them. He said, okay. And as he was breaking the bread at that moment, their eyes were open. Mm. And I'm always amazed at how people wow. see him, <laughs> knew him, but didn't recognize him with his new body. Yes. But as soon as he spoke a certain word, it triggers them and their eyes are open. 
But it does end with, did not the Christ have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? He asked them. Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures Mm. concerning himself. Wow. King David foretold in the Old Testament of Jesus Christ in Psalm 16, 9 through 10. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. Thank you, Lord. Nor will you let your faithful one see decay. Mm. Now that's faith. To mm. know that. That's a mustard seed Right. Faith. And trust me, a mustard seed is so mm. tiny. In fact, I was looking for my mustard seed. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, they are. But we're planting our garden. And it's just amazing. You take those little seeds. And some yeah. of them are bigger than others. But you put it in the ground. And I was so excited, although it's a little chilly for the last few days, because the flowers popped up. They, mm. The seeds actually burst forward and now produce leaves. So I'm waiting for the rest of everything so we can mm. plant it in the garden. But that's the kind of faith that we need to be having. You know, one of my favorite Old Testament scriptures about Yeshua is Job. Oh, you love that. I love when you read Job uh, in the beginning. Uh, that was awesome because Job is his story and his, what he went through helped me with my healing when I was in a paralysis state and uh, and then mm-hmm. with uh, uh, some of our uh, contracts being canceled uh, 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 no fault of our own but because of funding cuts it really uh, you know yeah Job is the one he's the man so when 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 he was struggling, having lost everything mm-hmm. and having been ridiculed and questioned by not only his wife, his closest friends, he turned to the Almighty in the hope of the resurrection as he declared in Job, in, in Job 19, uh, 24 through 27. He says, oh, that with an iron pin and lead they were engraved in the rock forever. Mm. For I know that my Redeemer lives. And at the last, he will stand upon the earth. At the end, he's going to be on the earth. Mm-hmm. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh, I see God, whom I shall see for myself and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me Mm. because you're going to see him in the new body. Even though my flesh is dead, my spirit will connect with him forever and ever. Go ahead, Joe. Well, uh, one of the things that I love is that that verse uh, in Revelation that says, when I see him, mm. I will be just like him. Mm. So in all the glory that that the apostles saw Christ at that moment when he ascended into heaven, yes. that same body we're going to have. Praise God. The te- I don't have to go through no more diet. I ain't no. got to take no more vitamins. No. I ain't got no more back pain and neck pain. Praise God. It got me a new body. I'm not rushing to get it no time. No, soon I was going to say, we're, we're, <laughs> we, we, we don't know ever know the hour, but one Thank of the things Lord. that um, uh, that we know is that we definitely want to know that uh, we want to follow that, that example. Yes. Uh, the teaching of the resurrection begins in the Old Testament yeah. and we've been saying that all along. We've been focusing a lot on the Old because that's a, that's what was foretold. Were, yes. That's and before he was around. And believed then, then on the and, promise. Right. And he had not even gotten here yet. Mm. So it is not a concept concocted in the minds of desperate disciples after the crucifixion of Jesus because that's what everyone said. It, yeah. They made it up. They made it up. Resurrection has been prophesied, taught, and anticipated just as Jesus said. Because remember, tradition 
you handed down the verbal tradition. It, you just handed it and handed it. And that's what God wanted for us to believe because he says those of once he leaves, there are going to be those who believe after that. Perhaps you feel as Job felt when all the world came crashing down upon him and death was a dark specter that haunted him day by day. Mm. Wow. wow. But those dark clouds of despair had to be dispersed when the Almighty God implanted the truth of the resurrection in Job. Wow, because he didn't get it from... Right. That, that was... That, mm. that was definitely a mm. divine... Um, Intervention. Yes, it was. As Job's faith increased in the midst of his situation, because you know how bad it was for Job. Yeah. He lost everything. Everything. Money, family, children. Right. Everything. He could not help but Clocray. And again, this is mustard uh, seed faith. I know no. that my Redeemer lives and that I shall see him with my own eyes. Man, we, that means if we're going to see him, we're going to see him. Yes, we are. When we raise again, we're going to see him with our own eyes. Totally awesome. This faith is a gift from God which will bring you the same hope, a living hope. You know, we, we talk in Hebrews uh, 4, 1 through 10, it talks about um, Jesus being raised from the dead. And one of the things it talks about is, therefore, since the promise remains of entering his breath, rest, let us fear least any of you seem to have come short of it. Mm -hmm. And we all fall short. That's in Romans. For indeed, the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in mm. those who heard it. Because remember, Hebrews 11 is now faith is the substance of things, things so far. For. <laughs> for we have believed, do enter that breast, as he said. So I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter the rest. Mm. As he said, they, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, do we believe mm. we are hearing from the word of God? Because everybody in the world doesn't operate in that same principle. That's right. That's why the um, belief system is so great. And Paul was one who cre always equated belief and obedience. I used to use that with my students a lot. I said that previously. Obedience is better than sacrifice. So despite being significantly different, the effect of one should be the product of the other. So our belief should push us forward into knowing what the real truth is about the resurrection. You know, there was many that Jesus appeared to. We had mentioned that earlier. And uh, and he appeared to Mary Magdalene first, who yeah. was crying at the tomb. And Passover, uh, he did uh, uh, rise on Passover, yes, which uh, many state that is Saturday, uh, is the Passover day. And that's why Jews yeah, to this day uh, celebrate, celebrate Sabbath, Passover yeah. on the Sabbath day. And then you had other women. This is who Jesus appeared to mm -hmm. first. And then you had other women returning from the tomb. And then there was Cleopas uh, and other and another disciple. They were on the road to Emmaus. Uh, they saw him. Uh, Peter, when he was in Jerusalem, he saw them. Uh, the 11 disciples and the others, uh, they were in Jerusalem, saw him. And then you had the 10 disciples who were without Thomas, saw them. And then uh, right after that, uh, uh, they were at 11 plus Thomas. They saw him all over again. So the disciples saw him several times. And then uh, there were seven disciples by the Lake of uh, Galilee. And then there were 11 up there uh, on the mountain during the Great Commission. And then 500 people at one time. And then he appeared to James and then the 11 disciples uh, at his ascension. But then he wasn't finished yet because he came about two years later 
with uh, to Paul on his road to Damascus. Okay. Praise God. Uh, we're going to take uh, another commercial break, and we will be right back. To the Stone Builders Hour, a unique talk show hosted by Pastor Gary and Elder JC every Thursday at 5 o'clock on Wave 94.1. Carter's Corner provides expert athletic consulting to agencies, sports programs, and families. Services include fundraising, community events, football camps, career planning, and vending. Carter's Corner offers quality coaching to athletes and highlights their actions on the field and classrooms to college recruiters. Call Sam Carter, 850-510-6702, or email carterscorner at me.com. Carter's Corner is also a 501. 501- 1C3 nonprofit. Hey, it's me, your cell phone. We need to talk about something, something serious. I know you love me. I know you like using me wherever you are, but I feel like this isn't working out when you're driving. I know you may think that it's possible to focus both on me and the road, but I just don't feel the same way. I think we should spend time away from each other when you're driving. It's for the best. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is uh, considered Daniel as he testified in the courts of the Persian Empire. Even while in exile and servitude, they could not suppress Daniel's belief of a new life in the ancient text. In Daniel 12, 2, he states, And many of them that sleep in the dusk of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, mm. and some to the shame and mm. everlasting contempt. Oh, Lord. Ooh, that's Help a lake of fire. Oh. When you rise up, when you hear that trumpet, we talked about that in our last, yes. uh, when you hear that trumpet, then the dead will come first. first. And they're going to go to either the right or to the left. And then next, those who are living, praise God. You got to get on the right side. Got to get on the right side. For also, King David says regarding uh, Jesus in Acts 2, 23 through 28, um, he's quoted as him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God. Yes. Hmm. Ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Yes. Whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. Can't hold him. For David speaks concerning him. I foresaw the Lord mm. always before my face. Mm. For he is on the right hand that I I shall not be moved. Yes. Therefore did my heart rejoice, praise God, and my tongue was glad, praising him. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope. Yes, Lord. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Wow. Thou hast made known to me the way of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with the countenance. Praise God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he... He was a master planner boy. He was also such a praise warrior and Mm. worshiper. 
passage, let's study another passage dealing with Jesus' resurrection as the hope of mankind. The Apostle Paul, and we know Paul was a prolific writer, Mm -hmm. taught that the resurrection is the centerpiece of the redemptive history. The resurrection is the divine truth that holds eternity past and eternity future. Mm together as one single plan of the Almighty. Past and present is one plan? Yes. Only God. How important is the resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah? 1 Corinthians 15, 13 through 17 states, but if there be no resurrection of the dead, Mm. then is Christ not risen? Oh. And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain and your faith is also vain? Yes. Yea, and we are found uh, false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, yes, sir. whom he mm-hmm. raised not up, mm. if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then Christ is not wow. raised. Wow. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins. Wow. And it's interesting um, when Satan wants to divide or destroy the church, because we talked about believing, he often does so through inspiring changes in the doctrines. When the doctrine change, mm-hmm. the belief system changes accordingly. And when the belief system changes, those who believe the same basic way will flock together. You know, they say birds of a feather flock together. And those who believe a different way will coalesce into another group. When a belief changes, a change in conduct must follow. Hmm. This is what happened to the Israelites in the wilderness. That's why the whole reason for the Passover and the holy days and the feasts. They did not believe God and they failed. And remember, those who wandered, they had to wander 40 years in the desert, Mm -hmm. but then the old had to die off. First, That whole first generation died Mm. as a result of their disbelief. So, Believest thou this? Yes. Yes, I do. (laughs) I believe that Yeshua Mm -hmm. rose from the dead and is waiting on us to fulfill the promise through us. But Paul answered the question Mm. and in doing so demonstrates that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the truth that transforms everything. In 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 20 through 21. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. Yes. The first fruits, which we studied, mm-hmm. we studied first fruits. Yes, we did. Of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection mm-hmm. of the dead. It's one thing to quote scriptures about the resurrection and quite another to believe that Jesus is alive, Mm -hmm. that death will not hold us in the grave, that life has meaning, that relationships are not wasted by the thief called death, Mm -hmm. that we know if there is a resurrection, there is a new heaven and a new earth. Mm. And trust me, it's part of our human experience. Um, I would like to review why Jesus stayed and interacted with the disciples and many folks for 40 days after his resurrection instead of ascending immediately mm. into heaven. Yeah, he did hang around for yes, a little he did. while. Yes, he did. And, and 40 away, days, uh, 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 no, it was in the ark for 40 days. All right. Yeah. I believe it was to sem- demonstrate to his followers that he was alive. Basically. You, you want to people to know that what you said you stand on that this is truth and so he wanted to for people to see him after all his followers knew roman authorities and high priests had put jesus to death they all saw it they were all witness Mm -hmm. and that his body had been taken down from the cross and sealed in the tomb 
When that happened, his disciples and followers were filled with despair and they were fearful. They were scared. They went into hiding. <laughs> they were scared. <laughs> they didn't know what to think mm-hmm. because this was the man who kept saying, I am the resurrection. Mm-hmm. I am the life. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I am the way. I'm the one who's, who you need to believe in. So I can imagine someone mm-hmm. come in and take your leader, mm-hmm. which has happened to a lot of us that um, are black. A lot of our leaders have gone. So what do you do? You, do, you change your mind. But they believed Jesus was the promised Messiah. And now their hopes were shattered. Wow. They had forgotten his promise that he would return from the grave. And they felt they had no future. And just remember, when he appeared to them in their midst and they saw that he was alive, look at how... Uh, happy they were and yeah. he told them that they ultimately uh, would uh, be given the Holy Spirit but then Thomas wasn't there mm-hmm. and I guess that's why they always say doubting Thomas Yes, he didn't believe but what I'm just so amazed by all of this and we're all guilty of it that we say we have faith we say we believe mm-hmm. but when a crisis comes yeah we fall to pieces. Fall apart. So sometimes we need to really start looking and saying to ourselves, believe thou this. I think that's going to be my new man. <laughs> believe thou this? No, I'm going to believe that Jesus is Lord. <laughs> yes, indeed. But when Jesus appeared among them after the resurrection, all their lives, they were changed. Yes. The greatest miracle in all history had just taken place and Jesus was alive. During those 40 days, as we said earlier, he appeared to various groups of disciples, Mm -hmm. proving beyond doubt to them that he had been raised from the dead by the power of the Almighty God. Over the next Two decades, Mm -hmm. as mentioned earlier, the Apostle Paul wrote that he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers at the same time, most of whom are still living. So that was like in the beginning of the uh, the first century. Mm -hmm. Uh, That was in 1 Corinthians 15, 6. Another reason was to teach his disciples and prepare them for the task of telling the world about what just happened. That's why he had to stick around. Yeah. In Luke 24, 6 through 7, he is not here. He has risen. risen. Hallelujah. Remember how he told you Mm -hmm. while he was still with you in Galilee? The son of man must be delivered over to the hands of the sinner, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Wow. Mighty words. Man. Mighty words. Mustard seed faith. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That was that, that whole ministry within three years was, was just phenomenal. It changed the whole world. Yes, it did. In just three years. Yes. And it's not by accident that he raised on three days. So God kind of works in three, seven, and 40. Yes, how about that? How about that? Well, we're going to be right back after this short commercial break. Everyone wants a comfortable, quality, affordable home they can own and be proud of. Affordable home ownership is now reality in Recolor Gardens in Crawfordville. Just 25 minutes from downtown Tallahassee or the beach. The developer with 40 years of experience builds each new home with modern kitchens, with two, three, or four bedrooms, and with many options such as screened-in porches, large garden bathtubs, and built-in electric generator plug-in outlets to help you make it through the next storm. Down 
payment and closing assistance for multiple government programs, credit repair, and mortgage loans are available. Call or text Lamar, 850-727-3532 for an appointment to see your next home. That's 850-727-3532 or visit McCullough Garden Properties, LLC.com. That's McCullough Garden Properties, LLC.com. Guess who? It's me, Elder JC, asking your support for Livingstone's Parenting Engagement Services. What is it? It will help parents be more active in their children's lives. Other ways to support? Donate online at WeLivingStones.org or call us at 850-219-0091. Remember, your donation is tax deductible. Distracted driving is dangerous driving. Hi, this is Dewey Rio with Noble, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. Distracted driving is when you're driving and trying to do something else at the same time, especially things that take your eyes off the road or your hands off the steering wheel. Things like texting, talking to your passengers, styling your hair, fixing your makeup, using a navigation system, adjusting your radio, CD player, or MP3 player, reading things, and that includes maps. Some people even take photos and selfies while they're driving. Keep in mind that any activity that involves using a phone or other handheld device used to send or receive messages while driving is against the law in Florida. This message is presented by this radio station and the North Florida chapter of Noble. For more information, visit noblenorthflorida.com and together we can promote justice by action. Wow, this has been amazing. Yes. Believeth thou this. That's going to be, uh, again, my motto. Matthew 28, 5 through 6. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified. He is not here. Hmm. For he is risen, risen, as he said, as he said, <laughs> come. See the place where the Lord lay. Wow. The four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John highlight dozens of miracles performed by Yeshua. We read about him curing the sick, healing the disabled, casting out demons, controlling nature, and raising the dead. Sometimes Yeshua healed a person by merely speaking as he did when healing the centurion servant in Matthews 8, 5 through 13. Because remember, he mm-hmm. the, the, the centurion said, you didn't have to come, just say the words. Yeah. And he, now that's faith. Because by the time he got home, the servants, he knew at the same time Christ said it, that his servant was healed. Mm-hmm. He touched a person to heal. Like the time he healed two blind men near Jericho in Matthew 20, 29, 34. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the manner in which he healed a person seems bizarre, (laughs) such as when he healed the deaf and mute man by putting his fingers in the man's ear (laughs) and then spitting and touching the man's tongue. (laughs) What? (laughs) But I know that his uh, healing power is here, that he is here, because just of my own personal healing that I had in the church service. And how it was just so, when it happened, I just couldn't believe that it was happening. All I know is that I was healed in that instant. And I actually felt the power of the The Holy Holy Spirit Spirit. run course through my brain. So, yes, believe it thou this. Mm, Praise the Almighty. All I can say is that, you know, they got that song, what a man, what a man, (laughs) what a mighty good man. You know, the lyrics, what a man, what a man, what a man. Those lyrics are from a worldly song, you know, but it really lines up with Emmanuel. What a mighty Emmanuel. Master. What a mighty master. Teacher. Hey. The Lamb. The Son of Judah. The Son of God. Rabboni. The Truth. The Light. Savior. King of Kings. And Lord of Lords. Yes. What a mighty good man. Yes. Father, we just thank you. Yes, we do. uh, For the resurrection, the truth and the light of our Savior. 
that gives us a lifeline to everlasting to everlasting. To know that he would never ask anything that he had not gone through himself. Yes, Lord. And know that, Father, that through the prophets of old, they had the hope and the promise. Yes, and they believed, Lord. Oh. And passed it down to us Thank who are you, here. Lord. As we are sharing with the Radio Land and audience that is free and available for you to for everyone. Thank believe you. thou this. Father, we just ask that you just bless our leaders yeah. in government, both on the federal, state, and local level, yeah. level during this COVID-19 virus, during this uh, Chinese virus, during the, uh, this pandemic that has taken place, yeah, during Lord. the state of home, home order, Father, in heaven, you, during this upheaval mm. of our comfort zones, yeah, Father. Yes, we just ask that you bless those who have the virus. Heal them. Because you have that power. Yes, you do. Those who have passed on, comfort the families, dear yes. Lord. Father, we need you now. Yes. Step into our midst, Father. Touch those who are non-believers or don't know the word. Bless our young people, Father. Bless all those who come to you and those who are living in a false truth without knowing the truth. You said the truth shall set you free. Yes. So, Father, we just thank you for the grace and mercy that you have bestowed upon us. In Jesus' name, I say amen. Amen. You, know, you got to remember to, to share this uh, with your friends and neighbors so that they can tune in uh, to the Stone Builders, all our shows on iTunes, Google Music, tune in SoundCloud, and also visit our sponsor, Dr. Elton Powell. He's a Stone Builders for some time right now. Uh, the D Dynamic Spine and Wellness Center. Go to his website at dynamicspineandwellness.com or call him at 850-402-9061. Let him know that the Stone Builders referred you. Praise but God. Remember, you also can be a stone builder by visiting our website at WeLivingStones.org or support us through uh, the site. Uh, you can donate. Uh, site's encrypted, but also through our cash app, dollar sign Stones 51 I love this session. Yes. And I trust the Holy Spirit has reached out to each and every one of you. But we'll be back next we'll be week. Back. We're out. See ya. That gives me strength from death.